Welcome to Ask Bonnie. This is something we do every week on Web Waste where we pick a topic and then we answer your questions on that selected topic. This week it's on Toast Addicts. So if you really like toast, you're going to appreciate the following questions. All right, let's get into it. First question is from Frances in Fremont, California, and she asks, uh, What's so great about toast? Well, that's a pretty good question because toast isn't the most intricate of food items and it's actually kind of basic. But I think that's why people like it. They like it for lots of reasons. Uh, it's easy to make. Anything goes with it. It's not like you can clash toast with some other kind of food. Uh, you can pretty much put anything on it. And uh, it, it's crunchy, so it makes a lot of cool sounds when you eat it. And uh, it's not too filling unless you eat a whole loaf of toast. And it's not spicy unless you put cayenne pepper on it. And um, yeah. And a lot of people eat toast when they're sick because it's the only thing their stomach will appreciate. So toast is really, you know, good for everyone, and uh, and your stomach will love it. Just don't eat a whole loaf. That's that's not good. That's too many carbs for you. So just remember that. All right. Second question is from Larry in Lubbock, Texas, and he asks, um, "I really love toast, but I seem to be infatuated with my toaster. Is this sick and twisted?" Uh, I guess it depends what you're doing with your toaster, but I'm assuming that you're just appreciating it. So uh, I'd have to say no. That's not weird at all. In fact, lots of people collect toasters um, and then resell them on online auctions for a lot of money. So if you like your toaster, get it a couple of friends. Buy some toaster buddies for them. And who knows, maybe you can make millions. But uh, no, that's not wrong to love your toaster. In fact, it, it's okay. It's, it's really okay, Larry. You don't need to join some sort of toaster anonymous club. All right, last question is from Tiffany in Toronto, and she asks, what's the best recipe for toast? Well, everyone has their own sort of way of how they make toast. They either put it in a toaster or a toaster oven. Sometimes people even put it in a microwave. Uh, I'm sure there's a way you do it when you go camping, but I'd probably set that on fire with the marshmallows. I would have to say my favorite recipe for toast is uh, fairy toast, or also called powdered toast. Um, probably for different reasons, not just because it tastes good, but powdered toast has its own superhero, which you probably remember from Ren and Stimpy with powered, Powdered Toast Man, who had power. So I guess it could have been power Powdered Toast Man, but it was really just Powdered Toast Man. Uh, he had a toast, powdered toast head, and then a body of a superhero. So he's kind of weird looking, but I'd say he was pretty cool. And uh, I, I, would, I would let him save me any day. So Powdered Toast Man, if you're out there, you've got a lot of fans and if I'm ever in trouble, I'm calling you first, man. Seriously. All right, so that's it for Ask Bonnie this week. If you have any questions or suggestions or you just want to talk to me about powdered toast, feel free to go ahead and email me anytime, anyplace, anywhere, and uh, I'll get back to you.